Okay, welcome to uh, today's NHIAA Division Three playoff girls lacrosse game between Plymouth Bobcats and the Laconia Sachems. I'm Todd Austin. I'm here with uh, Jim Carey on Pemby Baker TV to bring you the game today. Uh, what do you think of today's matchup, Jim? I think it's going to be a great matchup. You've got two teams that have similar records. Um, Plymouth uh, pretty much in and out of, you know, not as much as, as, as Laconia in some COVID protocol, but four and six. And then Laconia at five and three, similar opponents, similar scores. Should be a fun one. Yeah, the uh, the playoff uh, makeup this year is is random draw. And they put them in uh, regional pods, and uh, this is a first round matchup, kind of just drawn out of a hat. But a good, um, hopefully, good closely contested game today. Yeah, with the uh, with the playoff system, you know, I know there there are a few all along the sports people like, how are those people meeting the first round? They're the two best teams, but with a uh, with kind of the cohorts and um, playing different opponents in different divisions. I think the state has done an incredible job of, of getting these kids these opportunities to play about a three quarters of what would be a regular season in state championships in about 95% of the sport. So uh, great job by the state of New Hampshire and everybody involved. All right, and we're underway here, Jim. Opening draw goes uh, to Laconia. So number one carrying it in. That's, I think it's uh, Fallon, Anya Fallon for Laconia. Moves it over. At first. Nice cross in the middle. Whoop. Oh, high, high shot. Good possession, as you said, winning that face off and then possessing the ball and getting a scoring opportunity early. You have no doubt we have Holly Hoyt back in the net today. She's a senior, uh, first year player. Um, Ashley Bannon's out due to uh, due to an injury, but um, at, Holly's going to do a great job today. Well, Holly stepped in at the beginning of the year and then. Uh, and once uh, Ashley came in, oh, nice move, a little wide. Holly went back to get those field, ground balls. Field position and back in goal, and she's just done any anything and everything for this team. Great, great kid. Well, Coney is controlling possession here early, Jim. Yeah, they're not they're not attacking. We're defending pretty well. If you remember the last game we did on on uh, camera, uh, our defense w helped us win. Team defense helped us win that game in the last five minutes. Hopefully, uh, look we look pretty good to start. Not real aggressive uh, defensively, and, and Laconia's kind of just, again, we didn't see them this year, so they're kind of yeah. just getting to. Yeah, those games are uh, canceled due to some uh, COVID protocols early on in the season. Yeah. As Maya, good good defense. Uh, Maya Wingston on the cutter. Oh, right nice through the middle. Nice move. Shots wide. Oh, they're going to keep possession. Yeah, so Laconia's possessed the ball for the first two minutes of the game, but uh, with two two shot opportunities, both wide. Or high and wide. Again, just kind of waiting their time on the outside. Defended well by Plymouth. Another, another nice good move. That was, I think, Megan was. Uh, Megan Mativia, yeah, she's playing tough defense. Nice shot, nice save by Holly Hoyt. Great job for Holly, having not played in a, in a little bit. I guess maybe the last game she was Clear at. Clear it up out to Maya Wingstead. Is that ground ball you're talking about? Good by Maya. Good job. Good, Maya. Very nice cradle and very nice possession. Good girl, Maya. Unreal. Nice Baskets by Brooke. Nice job through the middle by uh, Maya, but turnover right there. Just put it turnover a little, little low. Turned it over a little low. Going to play defense down here. Yeah. A little bit of pressure up front would be good. See if she can get to in front of her. That's good. That's good. So one on you, Fallon. Oh, yeah. nice D. You're going to have a penalty on that. Yeah. It's okay. That was not a bad one to take. She was going to be going in on goal. Yeah, we get this eight meter shot here. Uh, Holly usually is pretty good with these. It's number one, Anya Fallon. Ah, oh, goal. bounces it in. It's yeah. a good shot, Jim, that low, kind of make the goalie transition from high to low. Yeah, again, we talked about that bouncing out in front, and I remember when um, Ashley was playing goal last time, and I forget who we were playing, Kennett, I believe? Kennett, and, uh, yeah. That bounce kind of just outside the dirt, uh, circle is, is difficult for the goalie to defend. That was a great shot. Right side, low. Yeah, so a 21-46 to go in the first half. It's 1-0 Laconia. 
Yeah, possess. Uh, they've they've possessed uh, obviously the majority of the time. That's that's a little concerning for us right now. I know we talked about it last time, but Rob Cormier and his crew coming in on this Memorial Day and actually came in, in, in yesterday and spent a lot of time on a baseball game that's going on right now versus Kennett, first round of the playoffs in Laconia uh, and, and Plymouth Girls Lacrosse. Thanks to Rob and the crew, Jeff Lyman and everybody else. Fields look great. Got to win this one. Yeah, for a rainy day. Came out nice. Footing seems good. Yep, a whistle. Penalty on us. Going to be possession for Laconia. Yeah, this is field. We didn't get as much rain as they thought, so we, everybody was looking at it last night and then again this morning. Footing is very good. Oh, number one's open. Bounce Great it in. Save. Nice save, Holly. Kick save and a beauty, as they say. That was fantastic. That was a good shot, good pass, and Holly was there to make the save. Uh, what do we got going here? Big stop right there. A couple big stops by Holly in the first four minutes of this game. Good for her. Ball's on the ground. That's Kelly, Kelly. Doherty playing good D. Yep. Coney's going to swing it around up top. They're being very patient and not uh, taking too many risks. Shot goes high. Uh, good call. All by right, nice Maya. hustle by Maya Wingstead. Maya anticipated that and beat, uh, I think I can't see it, number 26, I believe, to the end line. Good play by Maya. Maya's going to take it up again, gets it up to Emma Webster, we go. senior captain. You look to her and uh, Anna Aprilliano here to... Uh, get things going for the Bobcats today. Yeah, that was a key in the last game again. They, the two of them late in that game got a lot of touches. We're going to have to see them. We're going to have to be calling their name a lot today if we're going to uh, come away victorious. So Emma gets it all the way down to the offensive zone. We had a few cutters coming through there, Jim, but unable to make a connection. That's all right. Open, it opened it up for Emma. Oh, in. Emma, nice move, nice shot. Oh. Goalie's able to take care of that. That's goalie Felicity Fowler. Tough angle, tough angle, but good to get a, a shot on goal and get get uh, test this goalie early. See if we can get All to right, this. Laurel Mason. Good pressure, good Laurel. D, good D. Good stick with her. You get a turnover down here. Offensive end. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Nope. Penalty on Anna Perliano. So again, I'm okay with that, that aggressive play. Um, they did it again, and we got it on the ground, and get we're going to win it. On the ground. All right. Emma Webster comes up with a loose ball. Gets it. Oh. That's that pressure up front uh, after turnovers or after a, a, sh a save by the goalie. I think it's going to be important today. You mentioned it that our forwards, our people up front, put the pressure on th them coming out of their own zone. And you got to play defense in your offensive end, get those turnovers, create scoring opportunities. Now we're uh, showing some good patience here, I think. Smart. It's like Emma's trying to set something up here. Set play. A few cutters in the middle. Oh, looking for Brooke Austin. She can't corral it. Passes a little low. Ah, uh, good job by that girl coming back. I don't know if that's number one. That's oh, number one. She's had uh, Kelly Doherty's running with her. Number one is Anya Fallon. Yeah, she's she's seems like it's one of their better players. She's we've mentioned her name in the first few minutes here quite a bit. Nice pass. Oh, nice her. pass. Couldn't, couldn't handle it on the on the shot. Good. Very nice job. All right. Izzy Rosner's there. She's played tough D all the time. She sure does. That was a great. Hustling up field. Good. Keep. Oh. Okay. We had a whistle there, I guess. I guess, again, I, I don't know the rules to this game, but you would think that in soccer they'd call that an advantage and let the kids play right, on. Play I, on. I, does it, do you see that? I know you go to a lot, a lot of yeah, cross games. Yeah, they, they, uh, they tend to kill the momentum every now and then with certain calls, but I guess it's the rules of the game and just the way it's called. Good. While we're talking, that was a great save Another again one. by Holly Hoyt. Yeah, that was going five hole, and uh, so she's been tested a few, few different areas. And now something's going on here. Got excited about that great save, and we missed the call, but... Still pretty excited about that save. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm not sure, again, about killing momentum, as you said. They just definitely... Izzy was making it up the sideline, and I don't know what had happened. Oh, couldn't couldn't handle that one. Uh, so there was some sort of penalty. I'm guessing uh, one of our girls was in the crease, but... Uh, Laconia took possession, had a nice shot there. Your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, at any rate, it makes it 2-0 Laconia with 17.34 to go in the first half. I think it's going to be important to see how we respond. Obviously, a ton of time. 
and a lot of game, and this is one that can go back and forth, and, and you see this momentum shifts uh, again in, in all sports, but especially this one. But right now to see our senior leadership and, and, and junior leadership and see how uh, if we can get a little bit better possession time and get a couple scoring opportunities. We haven't had yeah. haven't had many. And we've got Laurel Mason taking this draw, Jim. Uh, Chloe Bouchard usually handles, handles that duty, but uh, Laurel's been doing it lately and doing a good job with it. I think we were confused by, I don't know if they usually, yeah, they start the whistle to do the face off, but we kind of froze. I think we're gonna be saying uh, her name a lot here, Fallon. Fallon, yep. Yeah. Anya, Anya controlling it again off that face off and yeah. behind the goal, she kind of sets up and as they say, Kretzky's on Oh, nice pass. Anya Barrett. Anya. Pick it up, Anya. Uh, here you go. Yeah. With a battle, Anya. Position. What are the chances two girls named Anya playing uh, defense and offense on against each other? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have it today. Anya Barrick for Plymouth is bringing the ball up. She's a good player. She's a freshman. That's good. Pass up. Pass, get up. Oh, well, gets away from Brooke. Brooke. You play D on that goalie. Good. Oh, that was a tricky little move. Yep. Keep it right there. Good job by the two of them defending Onion and Brooke. Well, the goalie oh, can't no, go back in on their own, Jim. It looks like she she rolled the ball in, so she was able to get back in the crease for some protection. That was pretty good. Yeah, that is a smart play on her part. Nice D by Plymouth, yeah. or yeah. maybe not. It's a penalty. Yeah. But as uh, you said earlier, that girl was kind of going to the goal, so sometimes it's a good penalty. And I thought that was a good one, too. Yeah. Gonna be tough to, to stop her right now. I think this is um, Katie West. Uh, I'm sorry, Katie Westcott. Bounces it and we do stop it. Unbelievable. Good job, Holly. Holly is playing very, very well. Senior Holly Hoyt doing what she can to keep us in the game here. She's made some great saves early on. Here goes Megan. Megan Mativia, very fast. Yeah, good night, Nurse. She's gone. Yeah, keep going all the way in, all the way in. Well, we Keep going. Have right somebody go with her. Uh, Chloe Bouchard over to Anya Barrick. Chloe and Izzy kind of missing out last year as freshmen. Uh, they've done well, and the whole team has done well, improving throughout the season. Back to Aprilliano behind the net. Oh, nice cross pass. Get Gets to through. Good Couldn't get these ground balls. Good yeah. job, Kelly. She, she anticipated it well. Just uh, got to get it off the ground. It's number 28. Amethyst Phelps. Picked up the loose ball. Got it down into the offensive zone for Laconia. They're going to slow it down and set up something here again, Jim. Yep. We have given up two goals. Seems our defense is playing pretty good. Yeah, and Sliding Holly making some well. big saves. I think she's probably has three, if not four. On the, I'm not sure on the penalty how they count that. But oh, nice. She had it in oh, a good shooting position, control. and then oh, that's, that's not a bad play. Kelly. Here we go. I like that play. Who's Get that it to Anna? space. Aproliano yeah. with a possession. Good speed, too. Yeah, she's she's going to take it all the way up into the offensive zone. I know her, her foot has been bothering her, but she looks like she's moving pretty good. Well, she got taped before the game. She must have got a very good tape job. Well, she looks like she's running good. Yeah. Oh, great cut. Oh, oh, nice pass. The goalie's there to intercept it. I do like that diagonal pass. Uh, just had to get it away from the goalie a bit. Here we go, Maya. Goalie Felicity Faller. She's a pretty heady player there, Jim. She was there. Maya Winkstead again. Bring it up from the defensive oh, end. Uh-oh. Good call. Nice play by Maya getting it up into the offensive end. It's an offensive penalty. Oh, no. Yeah, they called it on them. Okay. It was, I mean, it 
it was a foul. I was a little out of control, but I don't think the other girl was really set. She was moving too, so. All right, so Maya Wink said uh, she has possession here. She usually plays defense, but she, she can take a shot here. On the 12 meter, right, Todd? 12 meter. I think that, that means up, it's, right? it's indirect, maybe, on the, from the 12. That's yeah. okay. Good, good little move and uh, open up the space to Chloe. Nice catch by Laurel. Mason. Coney's playing good D, Jim. That's all right. Got to connect on one of these cutters coming yeah, through. But I like Laurel's patient with it. We don't want to turn it over. Good little screen right there by Chloe. Oh, nice move. Nice shot. Nice save by the goalie. Another. Get to it. Keep it going up. Oh. That's Sophie Collins fighting for that ball. Sophie, another freshman, very young. A number of our players, half dozen are freshmen on this team. Actually, more than that. Let's just say most of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a, good, it's a decent little balance. Yeah. And again, you know, it's for the sophomores not having last year's season, it, it you can, not, not that they're freshmen by any means, but uh, just kind of lose that season right, of experience. Yeah. That's across the nation, and that's at a collegiate level and a high school level, as some of these kids. But as we know, the kids are resilient. They'll be fine. And those three sophomores, Izzy, Chloe, and Ashley, have done quite well for us. Another. Oh, another goal. That's number two. Yeah, I'm not Bella. sure if that was five hole, but it was definitely below the Bella the Daly. Yeah. He may take a shot lefty there. Makes it 3-0, Laconia. 11.25 to go in the first half. A bit of a slow start here, Jim. We've got to get something on the board. Yeah, we do. And we haven't uh, had many opportunities at all, so I'm not sure what we'll do. I, th I'm, I have a feeling if, if we don't put one on the board uh, before Laconia's next, if we see Laconia score again, you might see a timeout maybe even before that. Try to, try to figure out what we can do to create some opportunities for ourselves. I mean, uh, with, with try to regroup. It looks like we have an extra... Defender or two to start here. I don't know. Never what? seen that before. We only have two girls up on the offensive end, but once possessions gained, they can go. They can switch back. Megan right. Mativier is fighting for that loose ball. Yeah, she's a gamer. And our other offensive kids will come up to the zone now. Coach Gilfoyle, uh, who was our JV coach this year, new to us. She's calling uh, the girls up defensively, so already it's a little different it's look. Emma Webster, and nice shot. Goal. Very nice. Please don't take that away. Uh, no. I think they're going to. I, I guess I, 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 I don't understand the game. They're going to call. It, like, it was simultaneous, the, the whistle and the shot. Yeah. I, was, I don't know. Well, they call it shooting space from what I understand, Well, Jim. she clearly had decent enough shooting space to put it in the goal. All right, and the defender is in a... All right, and then we take a nice shot, but don't get the possession back. Uh, I, d I don't like that rule, but it is what it is. Oh, there we go. A little, little lackadaisical. This could be the, the uh, this could be what we need. Well. Now, do you know how many seconds the goalie has to get rid of it? I know I saw him counting. Do you, I'm, not, I'm not sure. It's probably like five. I'm yeah. guess. I wouldn't think they'd give him a ton of time. So Emma Webster did get one in there and uh, got taken away for that penalty and missed on her second attempt. Yeah. Keeps it 3-0 Laconia with 10 minutes to go in the first half. Well, we did see we pushed up a little bit defensively. It, it, it did create us a pretty good shot, so hopefully uh, we can keep with that slight little change that uh, Coach Kilfoyle kind of pushing the, pushing the people in the back up as much as they could and a little more pressure. Oh, number, that's another good save by Holly. Great save. Good shot by number two. All right. Penalty there coming out. Kelly will restart. I think she's got to come back a little bit. So Kelly Doherty, she's uh, also a member of our track team. Kelly's she's got some good speed, so she might take this all the way up for us. Yep. 
Uh, boy, the uh, track team the other day, incredible job, the girls track team. believe they came in fourth. There still is the uh, pole vault to do because it was too wet, but they had a great day. Yeah, I saw some results. Our 4 by 100 relay won team won it. Um, we had a couple runner-ups with uh, Tara Smoker and Sam Meyer in their events. And they won, yeah. Yeah, it's a great job by them. Very oh, nice. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. Anna Perliano had some open space, made a great move. and Great move. Great she, shot. In all the games, right, whether it's, again, soccer, hockey, field hockey, lacrosse, just changing your speeds and changing directions, and she kind of gave a little move to the left, cut right, got herself in front of uh, right in front of the goal, had plenty of uh, angles to the goal, and uh, shot it down low for a get us on the board, which we very much needed. Like I said, wanted to see how we responded, and especially uh, one of our co-captains. That's exactly what you would expect. Yeah, Anna's done a great job all season. Uh, that goal makes it 3-1 Laconia, 8.53 to go in the first half. And it uh, looks like, you know, Emma Webster got one in there. didn't count, but a little momentum shift here uh, for the Bobcats. See if we can keep it, grow go keep it rolling for the next nine, a little less than nine minutes. There we go. All nice right, smart possession right here. Emma Good Webster. Call. All right. So Plymouth will get possession here. Oh, oh my. Oh, nice pass over to Laurel Mason. Ooh. Oh. Shooting space. Just shot another shooting space. Yeah, so. She'll get a start at the, the eight. The basic gist of it, Jim, is if somebody's between the shooter and the net playing defense. You've told me that once before. It's a penalty. And so. in other sports, they would yell at you if you don't get between them. All right. Yeah, but I get it. Oh, it rolls out the back of the stick there. We absolutely un oh, understand. Oh, nice. Yep. Go, go ahead. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Give it a little, I don't know what to call it. Can, are you allowed to just kind of swat at it like a yeah, field hockey, right? Yeah, you can, yep. Yeah. Um, but no, the safety, I, I understand. It's, it's Clearly it's there for a reason and no helmets and safety. So. Right. And that's probably why you see quick whistles and not play-ons. We'll figure it out. Somebody will explain it to us. Uh, it's been explained to me once or twice. You've so. only been to, well, what, about 347 lacrosse games? And well, probably like 17. <laughs> 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 and the rules have been different every year. <laughs> Because the, as the girls get older, the rules change a little bit. So right. you got to get used to them again. Oh, oh nice open tough. shot. Oh, oh, what a save. I think we had a little help from the post there, Jim. I, I don't know. I thought I thought if we did, I thought oh, you got a piece of it off first. Her foot? Yeah. yeah. She's really doing a fantastic job keeping us in this first half. Chloe Bouchard taking the ball upfield. She does a great job. She's a sophomore. She does do a nice Chloe job. Chloe over to Aperliano. Perliano has got some space. Nice move oh, around. Oh, there you go. Good job, Anna Perliano. Goal number two on the day. Nice. Here we go. There we go. That momentum for the Bobcats. And again, you've seen, I jokingly, you've been to a lot. And you know that momentum shift. Is this sport more, as much as any sport, that momentum switch can happen immediately. Right? Immediately. It happens fast. Yeah, goals come in bunches. And uh, started with a great save down there by Holly Hoyt yep. on their possession. And uh, then winning that ground ball, yeah, like you talk about, that's so important. Just getting those ground balls. We'll see here. Um, uh, Megan's been pretty quick. In fact, that first time where, where it was, we stopped. I think she thought the whistle was that she was in too early, so she really right. kind of she steps back by a couple feet, by a yard or two, and then kind of gets gets a, a running start. Um, see if she can get this ground ball like she has a couple times. You'll see her creep in a little bit here, timing it. Oh, kind of ran well, by it. Yeah, that ran time, by but it. But still I like the aggressive the play. Laurel Mason comes up with the ball. Yeah, good. Penalty on uh, the Sachem, so Laurel will have possession. You can start. Laurel, she too has uh, done well possessing the ball for us. Yeah, Laurel's a junior. She's a good player. She's been at it for a while. I think uh, too many, too many people in the defensive zone for Laconia, so you get the restart again. Very good job by, by Laurel, just being patient. Yeah, you gotta make good passes here, Jim. Yeah, you don't wanna force anything. Plenty no, of time, we got six minutes to go here in the half. Yeah, there's no need to force. Great cut. 
Seems like we have a few more cutters than what Laconia has when they're going. Um, Laconia playing a man-to-man. -man. Zemo Webster again working one-on-one. -on -one, trying to oh, get a shot off. Saved by uh, Fowler. Would have gone wide. Good defense by a Laconia a defender. As that, uh, we got nobody near. It's that stretch pass that uh, works in, in this game quite a bit. See how we defended in transition. Izzy pointing people out. Good job by the defense, kind of settling down and making sure they're matched up. Uh, tough oh, one. Oh, that's number one, yeah. Anya Fallon. You don't even have to look at the roster anymore to get her yeah. name, do you? Yeah, she's, we've called her name a few times here. A nice move from behind the net. Was yeah. able to beat the defender. Yeah, she just enough space to get the shot off and then went uh, high left side right over the stick of uh, Holly. It was a tough one. Good shot, good play by Laconia. And, and as you said, started on the defensive end by the goalie. That goalie got an assist on that play, I believe. Good crowd here for Memorial Day. Uh, reminds me kind of, I know some of the sports haven't played traditionally on Memorial Day, but there have been many that, that do. Um, it kind of brings me back. We used to have a uh, for the Farmington 500 in Little League Baseball. That was always well known uh, for the little guys to go down on Memorial Day. I, I like it. I like a noontime start. Two playoff games here. Campus is uh, buzzing. What else would you be doing on a Monday at Memorial Day? <laughs> yeah, yeah, napping. What would what, yeah. what we do? I took care of all that already. That a boy. All right, there she is again. Again, you see Laconia being much more patient, just a, usually a single cutter or two. Plymouth matched up pretty good defensively. Got Avery Noyes, number 19, I believe she is in the back, kind of watching that defender behind the goal. It's Fallon again. Yep. That's made a nice move, beat our defender. It's going to make it 5-2. 4.40 to go in the first half. Momentum back well, on Laconia's yeah, side. I was just going to say that, Jim. The, the swing is going back the other direction now, and Laconia's put a couple on us. Let's see if I can't uh, get a couple of updates for us while we're on TV here for our baseball game, see if I can talk to Coach Brule or see anybody that might be down there at the baseball field and update you. There we go. Looks like Laurel Mason's taking the draw again. One uh, thing about uh, lacrosse, Jim, is kind of like ice hockey where possession doesn't just go to the other team when you score like it does in basketball or football. It's, a, it's up for grabs every time, so it's very important to win these draws. Mm. And Laconia's had the upper hand on that today. Not that time, though. Megan nope. Mativia's there, and she's off to the races going down. We did have uh, only two offensive players out there. Oh, no, oh, that's hard. They're saying Laconia possession, but I thought we were a little closer to the end line after that shot, but ref's a little closer than I am, so Laconia will take possession in their defensive end. I was just sorry I missed that. I was checking with one of our assistants here kind of behind the scene and uh, just updated that it's 0-0 in baseball uh, so far. I'm not sure exactly what inning we're looking to get that. About four minutes left. It'd be nice to... Uh, Hold them in check here. Fallon coming down again. Avery Noise cuts her off. And uh, Kelly Doherty's playing uh, defense on Fallon. It's tough, tough draw there for her. How often do you see uh, teams double and run at, it, run at a person that's hurting them? You see that much when you go to the games? Not much. Is a you got to be you got to be marked up. I don't know. There's a, there's some funky rules on defense as well. So oh, okay, you can't just straight up double. Oh, you can't. You gotta, okay, you got to kind of be within reach of your oh. person, I guess. Really, kind of like an NBA legal Some, defense, something like that. Great cut. I that could, was. I could be completely wrong on that. That was that's, a, that's what I've been. Told at some point. Like you said, different what levels. What number was that, Jim? Rules. Did you get the number? I think it was 20, 28 made that cut, I believe. 28. Phelps. Amethyst Phelps. Yep. Top of three. Zip, zip on baseball. 
six to two here with 309 left. Uh, we really gonna try to get a, a goal or two. It would be wonderful if we can uh, get within a couple goals going into the second half. I think if Laconia continues to stretch this lead by a goal or two at half, obviously it's not impossible, but just kind of be feeling pretty good about themselves going into halftime. But if we can get one or two, get a little momentum, I think it could be a different story in the second half. Yeah, it looks like we uh, made a change on defense. You got this, and Chloe's back to the center, uh, taking the draw. Oh. Possession by Laconia. Bella Daly won that. Face off was pretty, pretty equal, but just seemed to have a little more reach and was able to pick it up. She's with the ball now, advancing. Brooks playing defense on her. You're hearing there, Coach Bob Howe, uh, patience, 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 which I've been saying a number of times yeah. in Laconia. They are. They don't want to put that ball on the ground. No, they've been doing a good job of that, moving the ball around, making their passes count, not uh, having those turnovers. Right. And I'm not sure, you know, again, who, who knows, but maybe maybe some pressure to get them to turn it over. I don't know what, what adjustments we could make. Not well, that was a nice D. It slid in, shut off uh, Fallon on that, on that attempt. Yeah, now you got Anya. Anya Barrick has switched to her. Let's see if uh, that's a smart move. Just give her a different look, different defender on her. Oh, well, nice check by uh, yeah. Izzy Rosner. But that's another one I, I never can tell what is because that one seemed like it was on the on over the player's right shoulder. Maybe it's the height of it. I'm not sure, but she seemed to. It didn't seem dangerous to click it out of her stick at that point. Minute and a 45 here to go, Jim. Looks like Laconia might be holding off for one last good shot in yeah. this half. Uh, not with, not with the, not with uh, number one with the ball in her hand. She's she could shoot at any point. On you on again. Oh, she did take a shot. Ooh, I thought that went in, but it hit the post. Hit the post. Good play by Brooke. Goalie's best friend. Good play by Brick. Brooke, I think it was. Yeah, picking and, Izzy, that. Izzy and then Rosner. Izzy, yep, the two of them. That was great. That's, uh, that could be a big swing for us if we can turn this into a goal. And as you said, goal post, goalie's best friend may have helped us right there, so take advantage of it. Yeah, you take away those angles and... You know, the post is there to help. Izzy pass it up. Oh, defender for Laconi is there. Oh, we got a little little Emma, bit of a rugby scrum well, after the ball. Em Emma, Emma showed it, and, and Anna definitely showing their grit. Anna and Anya Barrick are there to, ooh. Oh, man, we had a good run there, a good open shot at it, and they called that infamous shooting space violation. So Anna's going to have a shot here from the eight meter spot. What are you thinking? Down low on that bounce, I, I think, would say. Uh, low left. Oh, nice. There you go. All right, it looked like, but great move. Lay up, baby. Beat that Lay one up. girl. Beat that one girl and. Yeah, very patient. Right very patient by, by by her. It was. Uh, you going to throw your hat on the field? Hat trick, uh -huh. Anna Perliano. Nice. Yeah, kind of like pasta the other night. I'll throw. I'm, no yeah. other, I'm not wearing a hat. Take right. take Anders. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is a hat goal. trick for uh, Anna Perliano. It's 6-3 uh, here with 54 seconds to go in the first half. And again, ball was on the ground at midfield. Uh, it was, as you said, a rugby scrum. And, and who goes in and kind of gets a little dirty is Emma Webster gets it up off the ground and gets it over to... The other co-captain on Priliano, and we're back in the ball game at 6-3. Just the uh, just what we needed. See if we can hold them here, and if this win this face-off, get one more. Yeah, with 54 seconds, uh, that is plenty of time. Ah. But there's uh, old nemesis there, Anya Fallon, comes up with the ball, has possession. She's working on Anya Barrick for the Bobcats. 40 seconds. See if we can keep them on the perimeter. She does a good job, much like Anna Priliano, getting to the middle here. Good patience uh, by the Laconia, Anya Fallon. They're definitely going to hold for one on this one. Smart by, by Laconia. Get in there, D. Oh, a little cutter there. 
He just played good defense here. The 16 seconds to go. First half. Laconi's going to look for one last shot. Girl bro Oh, she broke free. And Maya Winkstead's there. Johnny on the spot. Picks up the ground ball. Let's go. Five, Five. four, three, two, one. Oh, so, all right. after that That's long right. that run. Was, that was going to be. That would have yeah, been, one. That been. When's the last time you made a run that long? a little long, too seriously. much time. That, that was far. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. tired right now. I'd have it. passed it out of the zone. I wouldn't have <laughs> ran it up like that. I definitely would have passed it. <laughs> you you would have gone about five <laughs> steps and gone, I'm done. Pass yeah. that thing. Just ding it. So, anyway, here we are at halftime here. It's uh, 6-3 Laconia. A um, couple momentum swings there. And uh, still got the whole second half, 25 minutes to go. We, we see hung, what happens. We hung in there. We did a good job getting back in this game a couple times. So great job by our, the whole team, the two cap, co-captains, and a couple other pe people along the way. Good team defense at time. We'll see if we can get the momen momentum and uh, take the lead going in. We saw it last time when we played, I believe, Kennett. They, they came out in the second half and really gained momentum. So hopefully that's what we can do. All right, so we're going to take a quick break here. We'll be back with the second half on Pemby Baker TV. All right, welcome back here. We're ready for the second half um, action for this NHI AA Division Three playoff game. 6-3 Laconia coming into the second half. A uh, few uh, momentum swings there in the first, and Bobcats are looking to uh, gain possession here off this opening draw and see what they can do with it. I'm sure both coaches respectively talked about Anna Prilliano for us as a hat trick, and Anya Fallon have been kind of the at least the scoring stars of the game. Other kids have played well defensively, and there we go. There good. we go, nice draw. Megan Mativia comes up with it right off the bat. That's a good way to start, for sure. Pushes it into the offensive zone. Over to Bouchard. Good job by Chloe coming to meet that ball. Bouchard to Barrick. Barrick brings it behind the net. This way, sometimes they'll set up an offensive uh, play here, set play, but. They're really uh, shadowing uh, Anna right now. They got Anna Pigliano basically being face guarded. So at least for this possession, should open up an, uh, an opportunity for somebody like Laurel or uh, Emma. 34 is, oh, they just switched a little bit. Good movement by Plymouth. Wow. Oh, nice try, pass a little high for Emma Webster. Good job getting it back. Oh, no. I thought no, I had picked it up. That's number 11. They get it back to the goalie. <laughs> number two, Bella Daly brings it up for the Satrums. Pass it into number 14. I don't know. No yeah. call. I wasn't sure if they'd call that one or not. Izzy Rosner bringing it up field. Passes it to Emma Webster. Good job by Emma. Oh, oh that's got to be something. All right. Emma picks it up. Gets going right away. Yeah, she's good. She picked it up right away. Looked to the official. The official uh, had the arm forward and wasted no time to get a little bit of an advantage there. Good, good well, defense uh, by number 14, but uh, Emma didn't, didn't panic. Picked up the ground ball easily. Oh, nice try. They got it into Laurel. Great job by Anna picking that one up. And again, just going to go around the world. In front. Looks like she was handed off there, double teamed quickly, and then and another one showing. I don't know, again, what the rule is, but they had a couple defenders show on her twice around the right post, left post. Good Emma move. Emma Webster, nice move, nice great shot. Move. All right, good start here to the second half. That's Emma Webster, senior captain, made a great move. Puts us on the board here, makes it 6-4. Laconia, 22-39 to go in the second. And just as we expected, with Laconia talking about and showing a little more focus on Anna Perliano, it's going to open things up for Emma Webster. It's going to open things up for Laurel Mason and, and, and the other ones up front. So well played by the Bobcats. Uh, well at halftime, good adjustments by both. I mean, Coach Howe for Laconia starts to show a little more help on Anna, and we take advantage and get it to the open person, and uh, and Emma gets her first goal. That's right. Of the evening, of the afternoon. Se second, really, but they took back that other one. Mm. 
All right, six, six to four. Balls up. Here we go. Looks like Laconia, that's daily with possession. That's a way to get in front of her. Yeah, Megan has good speed. She's tough. She's, she mixes it up yeah, well. Yeah, she angled her off and made her go inside, which is good. But Laconia does, does a decent job of passing around and still possessing it. Yeah, make your passes, Jim. So, I say it in any sport. It's all about possession in this game. In any sport that involves, you know, passing basketball was my sport, but... Uh, They'll talk about championship teams. They'll talk about defense, chemistry, you know, other things. But they'll always mention we pass the puck well or pass the ball well, or you know. Right. That, that's always in the top three to five things. So you're right. And, and you say this sport that you've been harping on that forever. It's more important than the other ones even. You just got to keep the ball, ball off the turf, you know, and just you make your passes and take your opportunities where you get them, and if you make them count, then. Have a pretty successful game. It's that combination, though, of like Laconia seems very patient with the ball. So it, when they, clearly it's working for them and they're winning. But that, when you play a better opponent, it's that, all right, how, how are we going to be able to attack and, and let our kids go a little bit, but get them to understand what's a good shot, what's a good pass, and not be reckless and, and have turnovers. All right. So when they do make that mistake, Anya Barracks there to defend it. Oh, nice aggressive defense by Anya. Oh, no, I called they it. call it. I called it late. Uh, it, you know, maybe he was just seeing possession, or I mean, excuse me, yeah, advantage, but. I like that aggress aggressiveness by Anya. And How about again, that defense? Megan Mativia, good D. Fantastic D. Again, to do it without being in the shooting space and then create that turnover, that was much needed. Great play. There's Megan off the. All there right, still our ball. A couple quick whistles, and we're able to still maintain it. Good job. <laughs> couple quick whistles here. Four of them, but you know, again. That's Maya Wingstead now. Nice pass up to Avery Noise. That's a little bit of a. A little bit of a whack that they'll probably, a little bit of a chop coming down. That is oh, a pretty goal. Number two, that's Bella Daly, I believe. Made a nice move, kind of a backhanded uh, shot. Yeah, she's been, same thing. She's been solid all day long, uh, especially winning those the face-offs. And uh, she's got some length, and that was a, a good right-to-left move across the... Goal of the mouth, and a little bit, I don't know if they caught a backhand or what they'd call that, that angle shot, but uh, wasn't over the traditional right shoulder, but good goal, tough, would have been a tough save for Holly. Yeah, still in the game though here, it's 7-4. Oh, very much Sage so. Jumps, 19 minutes to go. Very much so. Goal scorer, Daly's taking the draw against, looks like Bouchard's back on the draw here, Jim. Mm-hmm. It's up. Uh, Oh, Chloe's fighting tough for it. She had it for a second. Yeah. Lost it, though, and picked up by Fallon, who's going into the offensive zone for the Sachems. Good job cutting that angle off. Ah. You get a number on that one, Jimmy? Uh, Was that 14? 14, yes. You get her name. We got her late, late addition, maybe to the. Yeah, that's oh. the one, Katie Westcott. Katie Westcott. I know there were a few games that, when I was looking, the coach showed me the book and said that let me know that 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 girl had been out for a couple games. So, the way that he mentioned her name, that she would be <laughs> would be mentioned at once. Well, once. there it is. She got a nice goal there. Made a nice move. Makes it 8-4, Laconia. Gonna have something good happen here. The first uh, six minutes gone by, and we were playing pretty even, but they are outscoring us two to one in this half. Oh, 
So we got her stick on it. Laurel Mason's there to fight for the possession. Picked up by number 18 for Laconia. Their face-off win percentage is a lot better than ours. I don't know exactly what it would be right now, but. I'd say it's 75% uh, for them. I would have guessed. About the same. It's 14 again. Nice pass over to number two. Megan Mativia is playing good defense. Yep. On uh, daily number two for the Laconia. Passes it over to is that Fallon again. Yes, it is. Nice slide by the defense. Good cut by 28. Oh, good cut, good Great save. save. Oh, she's she'll be all right. If I'm knowing, if I know Holly right now, she's laughing. The official will come in. Oh yeah. She'll shake this off, but took she got one, it. She, took one right off the noggin. Yeah, it went pretty square. I'm gonna have her. Uh, I wonder if John Bruley. I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna get off here for a second. Call John. He's probably down at the baseball for a sec. I'm gonna just step away, right, Todd? Yep. Yeah, you got it. We have a timeout on the field here for Holly. Is, uh, looks like she's okay. She's going to step back in the net. Took a good shot right off the right off the noggin there. Like I said, kind of know Holly uh, and how tough she is. She's an incredible ski season for us. She good had for a the feeling. Player. Had a feeling she'd be be okay. Tough kid. All right, here we go. All right, Emma Webster. And that too sometimes can give you a little momentum. One of your leaders uh, getting a little dinged up and staying on and. Oh, good defense. Good little good little back check by number two. Read that play and come on, we gotta get that. Gotta get there. Sophie Collins. Playing good D. They really trust their goalie, Jim. They go back to her and uh on these when they can't clear it. I think it's Faller, the goalie. Faller, she, yeah. She is uh she's athletic. She is. And uh, again, I just think she had an assist on one of the plays. So you can really, as you say, use that goalie to help you going offensively or even just as a support pass like that. And shows a lot of faith, as you say. Good move. Cut back and went five hole. That's a uh, nice goal. Bounced it right in. That's uh, Anya, Fallon. Anya Fallon again, number one. Yep. It's, uh, you keep a track of goals there, Jimmy? No. I don't know. That's three or four for her probably by oh, now. Oh, I would say at least. She's... Uh, She's as, as advertised. They said she was a good one. She's a nice player. <clears throat> we got to do something to change the momentum, and I think we're calling a timeout right now, smart timeout. I think, uh, you know, if you're looking at everything so far, they have gained the they, – they own the possession time. They own the face-offs ones. They own probably shots, and then obviously the most important one, the uh, score on the scoreboard, 9-4. to four. We'll take a little break during this timeout. And uh, be back, and hopefully the Bobcats come out of the timeout and get a little momentum uh, gain. All right, and after the timeout, here we are. Uh, there's 17 minutes to go in the second half. Scoreboard says one still, but we're in the second. It's 9-4 Laconia coming to a, uh, a, a draw here in the middle. Nice to see uh, Holly back out. Coach um, Kilfoyle took a look at her while Coach Crow was with the team, and um, so they were able to... Take a peek, double check, and uh, back in there. So good for her, good for us. We just got a uh, message that the boys baseball team is up one nothing uh, in yeah. the sixth inning. Yeah, we're getting word that uh, Charlie Como had a hit and brought in uh, Colin Roper. Colin Roper. So RBI for Charlie, run for Roper. It's one nothing Bobcats down there on the baseball diamond. I had Roper's uh, dad, Chip, and uh, was one of my first tennis players. Great guy, great competitor, and uh, nice to see. His son come across and score the leading run, and good for Charlie. Great, great leader. I know he was for you on the uh, yeah. on the wrestling mat, and he's done a great job for us on the baseball wrestling field. Wrestling captain. He's going to wrestle next year at Plymouth State University, so uh, be able to watch him and follow along in his college career. Nice to see all of our kids when they go on and 
are able to play at a collegiate level, but especially nice when they're they're close to home and we get to watch them. Oh, nice pass by Laconia. Bounced it in. Uh, That's a shooting space. Shooting space. We'd like to not have that one because it didn't go in, but... As, as I said earlier, again, they, they do a good job keeping this as safe as... You can see Holly, oh, she was dinged up with it, with a helmet on it. Right, yeah, that ball's pretty dense and hard. For those of you who don't know uh, what lacrosse ball is, it's it's pretty hefty. Great save by Holly. And Kelly Doherty's there. Oh, wow, yeah, two fouls. Kind of a hack and then a check. Hack and a push, yeah. It's all right, Kelly's tough. She's a senior. Yeah, she's a real tough kid. She's a gymnast in the winter. Whoop, a little oh. high. All right, so turnover on that pass. Coney's going to take possession in their offensive end. Oh, nice move. Oh, nice D slid in there, nice. Down by five here, 15 minutes to oh, go. Great, nice, great nice read. job on you. Great read. Way to anticipate that pass. Oh. Just couldn't get it up and, and cradled. Good All job. All right, but no. Oh. I'm going to give it back to Laconia. She just, I think she had the right call, just pointed yep. the wrong way. Yeah, she pointed the wrong way. That happens. Maya shows some grit out there, too, both on when she possesses it on those ground balls and moving forward and then defending. She's, Nice, nice uh, looking freshman for us. One of many, as you said. Oh, that's well, got to be a charge. Well, let's see what the call is here. I mean, I guess I don't know it again well enough, but uh, Amy Noyes is just standing there, not moving, and gets run over. Well, I guess that's a defensive penalty. Yep. That's Bell at Daly with an eight meter shot here. Wow, that's quick. Daly's a good player for yep. Laconia. She's got a few goals now. Yep. Yeah, that that uh, penalty down there puts you in a tough spot. You get basically a free run there from from eight meters out. And again, no criticism, just not knowing the rules. Right. You know, if that's again a sport that I was comfortable with, and the offensive player just totally runs through a defensive player, whether they're meant to or not, it's 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 a foul on the offensive end. But looks like another timeout by, I'm guessing, the Bobcats. Well, it's going to be uh, not it's definitely... It's 10-4. Yeah, it's 10-4, 14-14 left. Not uh, impossible by any stretch, but uh, to put six on the board when we only have four in 14 minutes, we got to get something going. So hopefully Coach uh, Carrie Crow, who's talking to them, got their attention right now, can uh, can at least get one. you got to start. Uh, you got to start with one goal, correct? Get the momentum. Yep, every great comeback started with one single point. Love that quote. I say that all the time, all right. brother. I Love think that. you taught me that. Yeah. One every day. comeback in the history of sports start <laughs> with a single single score, or single basket, or a single point. That's right. So hopefully it can happen. Maybe we'll take a little break here and come back in a minute or two. Back on. Coming out of the timeout. Again, 14-14 left in the second half. 10-4 to Laconia. It's going to be important in the next minute or two to get a goal for Plymouth for the Bobcats to try to get any momentum going. We, uh, it's been pretty much Laconia's uh, possession of the ball and ha had the momentum most of this game. Um, but again, a lot of time left. And yeah, you, Plymouth has called a couple of timeouts here in the past few minutes, so see if they can make some adjustments here down the stretch with 14 minutes to go and make, make a little run here. They've defended. They came out of halftime and defended Anna pretty well. But again, we haven't even had the possession much to right. to see what what we've been working on. We're gonna win this face off and win these ground balls. That's a battle. It's a great battle by Chloe. All right, we got possession here, Jim. Emma Webster is gonna bring it up to the offensive zone for the Bobcats. She's gonna go. Oh, I thought she was gonna go right for the net. She's going to try it, but number two, uh, Daly's there to defend it. Again, Daly's got that length well defended, but good job by Emma getting it back. And she was trying to make something happen, and something happened quick. That's all right. We need something quick. Oh, 
Oh, nice cut. Oh, oh nice save by Fowler. You can see that uh, those two, Emma and, and Anna, have done that before. That was a nice little play. There's Emma. A little push, that looks mm -hmm. like they're calling. Yeah. So we'll have Emma, one of our co-captains, leading scorers on the year yeah. uh, at the 8-meter. Emma's good at these, so you can see her. she's probably going to try to bounce oh, one in. 2-2 two, two came in quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice move, though. Fantastic. Made a nice spin. Little spin, little pivot. Gets the shot off and makes it 10-5. Uh, Looks like Emma's made that move before, that little plant the foot spin and uh, yeah, shot. Yeah, so. definitely. That was nice. And uh, I thought Laconia had defended that uh, nicely, and uh, Emma was able to make a move and get a good shot off. It's everything that we said uh, that they needed to do coming out of that timeout, getting a quick goal, getting one of your co-captains to on the board and see if we can't uh, ride that right now. A little bit, 13-11 left in the, uh, in the game. Chloe Bouchard's taking the draw against Bella Daly. And that was a big win by Chloe last time on the faceoff. She battled too. Oh, geez, slow. Little, little shove. Megan, I think you'll see Megan probably get back in on this. Yeah, she's she's tough, defended that. That is incredible. That was all. Oh, Deflection goes to them because she got a piece of it. Is that right? I guess so. But uh, that was impressive too. Mm kind of get bumped down, turn around, and, and that's what you do is you channel yeah, great, that negative. Great well, you hustle. You take that negative energy and you make something positive happen. You talk about it with kids all the time, and she just did it. Instead of complaining, instead of turning and looking at the official, bust her fanny back and, and get a piece of that and, and prevent the goal. Big play. Could be a real big play in this game. Uh, oh, oh, nice, great. Holly. Oh, man, they called the mm -hmm. penalty on the defense. Great save by Holly. Can't be. She was too wide open. That that she was unmarked there. Can't be leaving their best player uh, wide open. Anya Fallon's going to get the same spot that Emma just had. That's right. Oh, she makes the best of it. Fallon, a little low shot there, gets it by Holly Hoyt. That was uh, what you call going in a direct line for sure. That was uh, well. Uh, Emma had to had to make the adjustment because. I think it was Daly was in pretty quick, whether it was before the whistle or just he anticipated it very well. So Emma's two different type of goals. Emma does that little spin and over the top, and then right there, just that direct line goal. So tough to defend, very difficult for goal. Very tough. Playing goalie in lacrosse is, is one of the toughest. And again, Emma Webster stepping in, and, I'm sorry, Holly Hoyt stepping in and doing that at the beginning of the year, and then Back out in the field in the middle and back in again. It shows a lot of about her character and, and her being a team player. Here we go. Ball's up. Oh, man. Daly comes down with that. She's been tough on the faceoff. Yeah. Just. Good job by Emma getting back in there in front of her. 11 to 5, just under 12 minutes. We don't have grades listed on this Laconia roster, Jim. No, I know. They got some good players out there. It'll be interesting to see what grade they were and see what they got coming back. I know. Coach, I just took it out yeah. of uh, their scorebook. Didn't have the grades. I was thinking that, too. I'd like to have seen it. Yeah, they are possession, possessing it here and killing some clock with an 11 5 lead and just about uh, slightly over 11 minutes. Oh, right. Nice well, cut. Oh, ah, that was a turnover we kind of needed. Yep, Zanya is there to play some D, but good job by number 28. That's Amethyst Phelps. Get that loose ball. Well defended by Izzy right there. Yeah, Izzy's always hustling. She plays great defense. She does. Yep. Sending some cutters through from the weak side, that, that diagonal that I like, but the well defended by Plymouth. Nothing was open. And Maya just trying to lean on the offensive player, got a little aggressive there. Again, she probably, and I don't, nothing was malicious by any, any stretch, but a little overly aggressive. And with being down six points, I think she was just trying to, trying to make something happen, but uh, penalty, penalties. Being a man down is not going to be 
It's yeah. going to be difficult, especially with how well Laconia is patient and possessing. And that's just what they do. They're looking to... Yeah, keep the possession. It's uh, probably a minute, they, minute till, penalty. Until they get a real good look. They'll, I'm sure they'll try to score, you know, if, if they can, yeah, but they're not going to force anything. Kelly well, almost, Kelly almost on got that, yeah. Again, nice good little pass slide. Into 14. Oh, Holly is there to make a save. Good Very job, good Holly. By Holly. They tried to go five. Oh, no. Hmm. I'm not sure which official blew at the whistle. I, I feel like that was one uh, uh, by midcourt. <coughs> uh, mid midfield, excuse me. But uh, the gentleman on the in front of the goal, I'm not sure. The, um, Would have been an yeah, yeah. inadvertent whistle. I'm not sure. Well, that's what I was just going to say. They're using the the uh, the uh, finger, the whistles. They're not using the mouth anymore this year. A oh, lot of yeah. officials because of COVID. And I did. I actually did a junior high game. And it's funny, it just, you seem, not that you can't have a quick whistle using your mouth, but I think there tends to be more right. uh, in, inadvertent whistles with the thumb, using the thumb on the electronic whistles. All right, so I guess it was inadvertent. They're going to give Laconia possession. Uh, refs got together, made the right call there, so it's good to see. It is not When they make a mistake, they, yeah. they get it right. Right. I mean, not, you know, as a Plymouth fan, you're sitting there, oh, we, we, you know, we want your kids to leave, but you want officials to communicate. And get the calls right. Any level, that's the way to do it. Oh, penalty there. I think that's right there again. Two I think minutes that's good on number 14, <coughs> yep. I think that's good officiating. She pretty much similar penalties, leaning on the offense player a little too hard. Yeah. I think any time you make contact with the other player's head, shoulder area, you might have a penalty. And It was all uh, both inadvertent there, but um, I guess that makes us all even each... Uh, girl down. And again, as long as it's consistent. So they've done oh, a great job the and, officials uh, on this game. Lost lost control of that on the pass is, uh, as you can see, Megan Materia hustling back. Kelly Doherty with a good defense. That's a great pick. Got an interception there. She's bringing it up field. Got Laurel Mason. Same thing that happened to Emma. Rolls off the back of the stick. And uh, people who watch boys lacrosse and girls, the boys have a much deeper pocket. Uh, you don't see that kind of roll out the back as much in the boys' game, but the pocket is much deeper. Kelly Doherty's going uh, coast to coast here, trying to get a shot off. And who's there? But uh, number two looks like Daly is there to defend it again. Yeah, she's all over the place. Well, just under nine minutes. Again, down six. Laconia's... I think we played a better second half, but they're still... still uh, Definitely leading the time of possession uh, stat for controlling it a little better than us. But uh, girls haven't given up. There's a good example of that. Laurel chasing uh, Daly down. And Brooke putting a little pressure on, on her as well. Good screen by number five for Laconia. Nice little pass through the middle. Coaches are calling for the defense to push up, get up to the ball, put a little pressure on them. Again, yeah, Octavia is coming up. Right. Up, oh, another card. Another card. Uh, another penalty. Just, to, I think a little bit that I didn't see anything there, but must have been a little over over aggressive bump. Yeah, Coach Kilfoyle is there uh, calling for the defense to put some more pressure on Laconia here, not, not let him make these easy passes. Ooh. Nice check by uh, Bella. Uh, sorry, Maya. not Bella. Maya Wingstead. Sorry, Maya. Official blew the whistle. No, nope, no card. <laughs> just get mine. And she didn't send her out this time. I just yeah. not sure. <laughs> not sure there, but uh, yeah, just trying to be aggressive. Yeah, and, and, and uh, get the turnover. You have to at this point. I mean, you 
you got to be smart not to be taking penalties and, and putting your team a man down, but you do have to try to try to pressure. But again, Laconia pretty skilled with the passing and catching. And where? But but you put, get that oh, little more pressure. There we go. Izzy and Webster. Mm. Oh, that's off uh, Laconia, so we'll uh, change possession. Bobcats will take it over here. The 6.45 to go. Down like, by six. Like you said, Emmy and Ebba kind of double, whether it's a double team or both going for that ground ball, we're able to create a turnover, so that's good. A couple good screens to try to get Emma open. Good safe pass here for us. Over, Emma over to Izzy, who we just talked about, created that turnover, the two of yep, them. Izzy. Go, Izzy. Izzy going to bring it all the way down. Might as she well. play some offense on JV and scored a couple goals last game, Jim. But mm. ooh. Ooh, that was, That's a little, that was a tough one. That's uh, Anya Barrett coming in there a little strong. Anya, who was that, number two for Laconia? I think it Bella was, number, I think it was, was it? number five. Oh, was it five? Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Number five is Nicole Johnson. Well, the turnover, Anna picks it up, gets it down to Anya Barrick. Anya get it behind the net. Looking for a cutter here. Anya taking it back up front. Off the ball foul, I think she said. So Anya's going to get a shot here from the 8-meter mark. The other one, I don't understand. Some penalties, the clock runs, and then some, it do, they don't. They All stop right. it, so I'm not sure on that either. But right now, it's... it's Ticking away on us. All right, it should stop because it takes a while to set up. We just lost 25 seconds getting set up on right. it. And again, I don't oh, that know must have been an indirect oh. penalty. Oh, nice save by Fowler. Laurel, great oh. cut, great pass uh, by Anya. Good catch and uh, just kind of into the bull goalie's uh, crest, as they say. Right into the body. All right, ground ball. Anya Barracks there to scoop it. Yeah, she's oh, quick to it. She's tough. Good job. Penalty on Laconia, so possession Bobcats. That anticipation by her and her quickness uh, created that opportunity for us. Oh, so we I do guess have not. Huh. Again, getting together. They're getting together. All right, refs are going to talk about this one to see who had possession or who has possession. Okay, and uh, Laconia is giving it back to Anya, so. That's twice we've seen them kind of get together, and that's, as we said, that's what you want them to do. Communicate and get the right call. Barrick. Back to Brooke Austin. Brooke behind the goal. Brooke back to Anya. We got, you know, you can't. You can't force it, but you got to get a couple goals here in the next four minutes. So you got to try to press the issue a bit, and I think Emma will. Is that kind of slide yeah. as you talk about? I guess it's not a double team, but they hand her off. That's oh, slide. nice outside shot. Fall is there to make a save. Laurel's coming in, try to. It was close, right on that line. Test the goalie, yeah. Yeah, and the goalie was able to get it back in the circle. And Oh, get to it. Uh, almost we created Put it. A I little think that was Brooke had kind of got a little deflection on the stick as the goalie was trying to make that pass. Oh, up to Daly. Seems like uh, number two, Bella Daly, and number one, uh, Fallon, have been all over the field today, Jim. Yeah, they sure have. They sure have played a solid game. One thing, though, you like to see that Bobcats are still playing hard there, down by six with about three minutes to go. They're doing They're being great. Being aggressive, keeping it clean, and playing tough. Correct. That's all you ask for is to uh, only two things you can control: your effort and your attitude. And they have uh, been great all game on both. So it's our ball, Kelly. Again, that pressure created a turnover by our defenders, that team defense. 
This is the one we got to connect. We've been hurt. You know, there that, we go. That outlet. Yeah, right. that clearing. But you get it, somebody's hands like Mega Mativia is at speed. She can outrun some people. It's, it's a good way to clear it. Yep, that was a nice outlet right by Kelly over to Megan to get it up, up the Laurel field. Mason. Yep, and again, you'll see Laurel try to attack and get something quick here, I think. Nothing there, defended well. She's still looking to press forward, though. And she goes, beats the and defender, and nice, gets a goal. Very nice job by All Laurel. All right, Laurel Mason, nice move. Makes it 11-6, Jim, two yep. and a half to go. Two and a half to go, like you just said. They are battling, and we're still playing, you know, Playing a little more aggressively, but clean, and it did create three or four turnovers in the last four or five minutes for us down here. And just try to keep, keep try to keep grinding. I do want to just take a quick break. We got word that the uh, baseball team just was victorious versus Kennett in their uh, opening round of the uh, the Division Two baseball tournament. This is Division Three girls lacrosse, but Division Two and boys defeated Kennett two to zero. And we'll be traveling to Merrimack Valley on Thursday, June 3rd, playing them at 4 p.m. So congratulations to Coach Boyle and the baseball Bobcats. All right, way to go. All right, here we go again. Emma Webster, quick possession. Going right to it. Going right She's to gonna the net. Going to get it. Oh, uh, loses control. Nice defense yeah, by the Sachems. They were active on D. Yep. Emma's going to uh, She's going to keep forcing the keep, issue, and I like keep it. Keep fighting. I like it. Got a penalty. penalty. Clock has stopped. I like it. She's out. No, oh, it's running. Oh, it is running. I don't understand why they. Some they stop. So this takes 10, 15, 20 seconds to line everybody up. Come on, Emma. Oh, a little sidewinder there. Oh, they gave it to yeah. Laconia, they, they, Laconia that, were they closer? Yeah, that Laco the Laconia defenders have their heels yeah. on that back line on that shot, so they're giving up kind of an yeah. opportunity, but to get the possession. It was a nice shot by Emma, a little wide. And again, you had to had to take the quick one. Coach Carrie Crow getting uh, getting some others in the game here. Even if it's just for a couple minutes, get a little experience. I'm not sure if that's well, Olivia Gothier just came Olivia in. Olivia just came in. Yeah, another freshman. Good for Olivia. All right, we got down to the final minute here. Yep. Look to see if uh, Laconia might make a mistake or if we can defend this and, and get a turnover. Anya's there, and Megan Mativier is always near the loose ball. Yeah, and then they, we also have uh, Lexi well, in there. That's going to call offsides. or Lexi was around that. Yeah, offsides on the Bobcats. Looked like Emma Webster got bumped over the line, but nonetheless was over it. Another ball on the ground, so Maya Wingstead not able to corral it. Well, winding down here, Todd, 35 seconds left. Uh, definitely today the better team has won. Uh, the one that had possessed more, the one that had more scoring opportunities. Um, better on the ground balls, but it, it clearly was not for a lack of effort. We yep. had, we definitely had some momentum swings that we did a good job of of controlling and, and getting uh, some scoring opportunities, but just not enough today. Yeah, this uh, team all season, they've they have gotten uh, much better throughout the year, Jim, from game one till now. Uh, I think we're only losing three girls off this team. We're going to miss them uh, tremendously. Our senior leadership, you always miss them when they move on. But uh, looking at the future, it looks like, uh, you know, this team, they stick together, will we'll be uh, playing pretty well for a while. I can't agree with you more. I went down for one of the first practices, watched uh, Coach Kerry Crow and, and Coach Kilfoy working on some basics, and to see how far they've come was was a, very nice to see. But yes, your seniors in, in Ebba Webster and Holly Hoyt and Kelly Darkety, and then Ruby DeCastro that was uh, with us this year too. Yep. So you missed those four four seniors moving on, but we got some great juniors: uh, three Anna, Megan, and Laurel, and then uh, the the sophomore group and the freshman group. I think uh, I think you're right. You're going to see you have seen the improvement this year. Now, as a, co a coach would say that. Individual improvement happens in the off season, and then 
get back at it next spring and hopefully uh, see this team grow even even more than they did this year. That's right. At uh, final note, I'd like to thank Andrew Fenn. Um, he's come out to all these games. He ran up here from the Memorial Day Parade and got set up here so we could catch the start of this game. And Elliot Miller on the camera. Um, they always do a great job. Um, I, think I think Jonathan's, Jonathan Picard, Jonathan Picard is he, he's here always helping out. Um, we'll be back uh, with Pemmy Baker TV, I believe, on Thursday for the Varsity Boys Lacrosse game. It's going to be here at Plymouth at, I believe, 5 o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock on up. Thursday. So thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time.